I was just burnt out and I was really tired. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Uwa and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, I'm a 2020 medicine offer holder and I got my A-level results about a week and a half ago. If you want to um, know what I got, check out this post on my Instagram and also to find out more about me, um, follow me on my Instagram, it's at uwaisabar.com underscore and check out my website. Um, the link to that will be below but I'll leave it somewhere here or at the top. It literally has been so long since I last filmed a video. Not gonna lie, I've been putting it off. But um, I really want this to work out and I really want like my YouTube channel to grow. So yeah, I'm gonna try and start putting a lot more effort into it. And <laughs> let's just see how things go from here. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to hear more from me and to see more content. So I think this is a really fitting video to do, especially the time of the year. Um, schools will be going back in I think about two weeks, it's like start of September isn't it? So yeah, um, for the time in this video hopefully it'll be really useful um, and you'll enjoy it. In this video I'm going to talk about the things I wish I knew before college. Just what I wish I knew before year 12. I have got a list ready but looking at it I'm kind of like, do I really agree with those things now? <laughs> There's some things I do and some things I don't. So. I might not say all of it and I might just go with the flow and say whatever comes to my mind. The first thing um, I'd say is that you should try your best to go to every lesson. But with college you're a lot more independent. It's not like in high school, if you miss a lesson you're not going to get attention. And in high school you almost can't miss lessons because everyone is timetabled to be the teacher pretty much every hour of the day besides break and besides lunch. But in college you are going to have blocks where you're free and your friends aren't and vice versa. So it can be tempting to probably just miss a lesson. But from my own experience, I'd say you should go to every single lesson. The only time I'd miss lesson is like if I was on like an open day or work experience and just the one lesson that you miss, there's so much work I could catch up on. So yeah, I definitely don't recommend missing lessons. People might argue, oh it's just one lesson, you can catch up easily. And yeah, you can catch up, but in the time that you're spending catching up, you're missing out on like maybe valuable revision time for like a test or just maybe some free time. So yeah. Don't miss out on lessons and try best to keep up and engage um, with what's being taught. I need to try and stop smiling. <laughs> oh, my second thing is get involved with lunchtime activities and extracurricular. This is something that I didn't do. Not that I regret it per se, but I do wish that I did get more involved with lunchtime activities and extracurricular that my college had to offer. One thing is that it's really good for the social side, so making friends with people who are outside your lessons. Um, maybe people who you probably wouldn't have spoken to because they didn't go to high school. I just didn't get involved enough to be honest. Um, and one of the reasons was that my college was so far away from where I lived and it was it was quite a bore like having to get public transport. So after the college day I never wanted to do anything. And at lunch, I don't really know, maybe there was nothing per se that really interested me but I don't know. I just didn't get involved as much as I should have done. I think something that probably put me off was like maybe I felt a bit intimidated so like I used to do netball in like high school just for fun. Um, I'd never do it competitively though so I'd never do any of the games they did at other schools. I didn't want to start it in college when there's going to be people who did it competitively in their high schools. I feel like oh I'm a bit rubbish I've not done it properly like in years. But I know for uni I'm definitely going to try and get involved with like any sports societies. I definitely want to do netball. Watch me say this and not even sign up to anything. I'll try. I really advise that you get involved and you just see what's out there and what your college has to offer. It's also really good to put in your personal statement when you come to writing it that you are involved in all these things and it shows that you have a life outside of the academic stuff and you're able to socialise and engage with others and work in a team so that's really good. So another piece of advice that I'm going to give is not every free period is actually a free period. I just mean use your time wisely. At the start of college me and it's like oh it's so chilled, it's better than high school and it's because you're given that level of independence. So unlike in high school you do get free blocks. My college they called it study blocks um, so the intent was to study and you'd be doing your college work so your homework, any revision, um, catching up with any lessons you've missed, stuff like that. Of course not everyone always did it and I'll admit in first year I didn't constantly, well I did do a lot of studying in my free period but especially towards the start of the year there were times I was just a lot more chilled, a lot more relaxed and would just hang out in the canteen with my friends 
which of course it's really good no one's a machine and I wouldn't ever recommend it all you do is constantly study you should know when to allocate time with your friends and allocate time for revising look at your time table and allocate times when you know that you will definitely study and other times where you can be a bit more relaxed also another thing with using your free blocks in college to do revision is that it's less to do at home so just to sum that up be wise and revise i didn't mean to make that rhyme but i guess it worked know when to relax with your friends but also know when to study so it's okay if you don't have a revision strategy straight away or at the start of college. You will get to know that the work at A level is a lot more difficult and there's a lot more content than what you get at GCSE. You probably might find that a bit overwhelming and you might think, okay, I need to get my revision strategy nailed straight away so I can get A's and A stars or get good grades, whatever you want constantly and consistently throughout the year. That's not going to be the case and that's completely fine. So for me at the start of college, I always my laptop in every day and that's because I did all my psychology revision notes on a PowerPoint and um, that was really cool so I'd use them as flashcards. I'm going to do um, videos on how I revised and how I got the grades that I got basically um, with time over the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping to film them soon before I go to uni. So yeah, I ended up changing that revision strategy as I found out in second year that it just took me way too much time to make my PowerPoints. So it was a much better use of my time doing it by hand. Also, for all of your subjects, you're going to have a different revision strategy. So what works for one subject? isn't going to work for the other. You are going to learn throughout the year and see what works for you and see what you enjoy doing. You've got two years to learn about yourself and obviously learn the content. Also yes, in that time you're going to adapt to new things and try new things, see what you like and see what you don't like. And this is one of the reasons why I really do recommend that you take every single test, mock test, mini test, subtest, class test, whatever you want to call it, take every assessment you do in college as seriously as you can. It just gets into good habits, good studying habits, and you find out what works for you and what doesn't. My next piece of advice is learn how to strike a balance. Like, you've just got to. It's a life skill, not just for college, but for uni, for when you go out and get a job. Strike that balance. Work hard, but play hard as well. <laughs> Great time for fun and for leisure. I kind of touched on this earlier on with saying, like, um, you can use some of your free periods to actually just relax your friends but also to study but also outside of college as well make sure that on your weekends you're having a good time um, and you're doing something other than revision but also make sure you are revising I think this is something that I wasn't very good at and that was striking the balance I did take on quite a heavy workload for myself for most of year 12 I was working Saturday Sunday which I really hated because it was college um, Monday to Friday and then Saturday Sunday I was working and when I wasn't at work I was revising um, as much as I could literally um, and then also sometimes during the week I had driving lessons I was volunteering or like I was doing work experience so I had I literally had so much to do and I don't recommend it at all I go to parties go out have an evening off during the week you don't have to constantly study 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 yes A levels are hard and you probably are getting tested a lot more frequently than you would have been in high school but just make time for leisure and give yourself a break it's okay to have a social life it's okay to have fun and it really was only towards the start of year 12 i started unwinding and easing down and releasing that heavy workload myself and honestly i wish i did it earlier so this next point is to tell up to you but i say a part-time job is called a part-time job for a reason so from my own personal experience i found that i really couldn't handle any more than 12 hours during the week um, alongside college work because I found it hard to fit in enough time for college work and um, for having a social life and just give myself time to relax. I found that because I was doing 12 hours that was taking time out of my revision. So I was trying to make up for that time in other ways. So for example, I'd either wake up earlier and do some revision in the morning or I'd be working till much later in the evening, which for me just wasn't healthy, wasn't useful. I'd miss out on um, social activities, so going out with my friends and just relaxing with them. I was just burnt out and I was really tired. If you feel you can definitely do more than 12, you can handle 12 with ease, go for it. If you're not sure, I'd say go for the minimum hours you can work. For example, eight. It's better to take on less um, and make sure you're making time for your college work. It's nice to have your own money, but also just consider the effects of working extra hours alongside college work and trying to balance a social life. Um, and for me as well, in first year, I was, as well as working eight hours in first year, I was um, volunteering, doing work experience, and uh, having driving lessons towards the start of it. So I had a lot going on for myself. But with doing all that during the week and then working Saturday and Sunday, that was just too much for me. But yeah, it's different for everyone and just see what you can handle with college and with A-levels do the revision as you go along a levels are so hard and just the amount of content that you've got um and the difficulty of the content as well you don't want to leave it until last minute so my final point is distance does matter 
This might be a bit irrelevant if you're already enrolled or already applied to your college, which you probably have, but it's something to consider still. Bear in mind how far your college is, where you live, and how long the journey is going to be, because you want to think of stuff like maybe being late to lesson, or in the evenings when you get home, what time are you going to get home, and how much time you're going to have to revise. So yeah, that's it from me, and that's the end of the video, and that's all the things I wish I knew before I started year 12, before I started college. As I always say, you don't have to do things the way I did, and this isn't a guide on how you should experience college or what you must do it's just things to consider yeah and just thought i'd share my own experience with you please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel also i mentioned about um giving my revision tips and advice and how i got the grades that i got remember if you want to check them out have a look on my instagram at this photo um yes if you want to know more about how i revise and how i studied throughout college be sure to definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me on my instagram it's at iritisbar.com underscore um thank you for watching <laughs>